Hello everyone, welcome back to the ATL tutorial series. In this video, I'll be focusing on ATL testing. ATL testing is crucial to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the data processing. I'll be using Python's unit test framework along with Pandas to write and run our testers. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial on automating ATL process, I highly recommend checking that out first. In that video, I covered how to extract, transform, and load data using Python. The link is in the description box below. Now let's dive into ATL testing. Before we start with ATL testing, let's quickly recap what I covered in the previous tutorial. I created an ATL process that extracts data from a CSV file transforms it by adding new columns and cleaning it up, and then loads it into another CSV file. I wrote functions for each step, extract data, transform data, and load data. Now let's see how we can test these functions to ensure they work correctly. Write tests for data extraction. Let's start by writing tests for the data extraction step. I will create a test case to ensure that the data extraction function correctly reads data from a CSV file. Let's write this test in the test underscore etl.py file. First create test underscore etl.py, then I'm going to import the necessary packages or modules that's used to test the functions. First import the, the unit test module or framework and import the pandas. Now, I have the ATL underscore process.py, which contains the data extraction, transformation, and loading functions. And I'm going to import those functions from the ATL process uh, module. So I have already defined those functions in the ATL process uh, that I have covered in the previous tutorial. So I highly recommend to watch uh, the previous tutorial. Uh, you can find the link in the description box of this tutorial. Now, assuming your ATL process.py file has the extract data, transform data, and load data functions. And now let's define the class called test ATL. And this uh, class uh, just inherits the test uh, cases from the unit test framework. So next, I'm going to just uh, test the class or the function extract data uh, by defining a test extract data. You always put a test uh, in the beginning of every uh, function to test uh, the uh, functions uh, of the module, OK? Even though you have to put the test before any file uh, name in the file names of your Python test case. Then the unit test automatically uh, detects that is the test cases. Now let's uh, extract data and this is the cell. All right. All right. Now let's test data extraction from CSV. Uh, let's define the path of the file. Uh, in my case, I just uh, put the file in the same directory of this uh, project. So uh, that is called sales data dot csv. Call the function extract data from the uh, ATL process uh, module, and I just pass a pile path uh, an argument to, and I'm going to just use the test cases from unit test framework. For example, assert is instance that is called assertion. This is the very basic uh, test cases. So every uh, beginner should test the functions they define uh, in their program. But this is very easy uh, testing uh, case uh, before going to test more advanced uh, test cases like uh, integration test, uh, CICD uh, testers. So uh, let's call self assert is an instance is an instance, which means that the data frame is uh, an instance of a data frame which means the def is an instance of a data frame, pd dot data frame. If that is not correct, it's just error. Otherwise, it's, it just passes the test cases. 
and also uh, check that an assert is false. Uh, the data frame is an MVT, which means that data frame uh, in uh, the, which is extracted from the uh, sales data .csv is uh, MVT, which means it has no any uh, rows and columns in that uh, CSV file. It just uh, fails. Otherwise, pass that test. And the other is dot assert in, for example, uh, take one of the columns from uh, the data frame columns, for example, order ID. That order ID is in the data frame columns, call that columns, okay? If that's found, it just passes. So you can use more uh, test cases, actually. This is uh, very basic and uh, uh, let's go on. So uh, now next, let's write tests for the data transformation step and I will create test cases to ensure that the transformation functions correctly calculate new columns and handle data types. Let's add these tests to the uh, test ETL.py file in the test ETL class. And I'm going to define another function, which is uh, test transform data. And uh, in this case, this is just testing the transformation function in the ETL process module. So uh, the extract data function, the transformation and the process uh, uh, module is just returning the data frame. Uh, here, I'm going to define some test cases to test the transformation of that uh, data. So let's find the data, for example, order, order ID, one, two, three, all right, and quantity. You make sure that this columns are exist in the uh, sales data .csv file. Uh, otherwise, it, it just throws an error. The assertion uh, or the test cases failed. Okay, quantity, for example, two, one, three. Yeah, I just uh, created some uh, data that uh, used to test the transformation of the data in the uh, ATL process module. And uh, next, let's define a data frame, data frame, pd dot data frame. And I pass this data into this data frame. And let's call the transform, transformed data. And I pass this data frame into this transform data, which is from the ATL process module. Now let's test that uh, using some asserts in, for example, total price. Total price is calculated in the ATL transformation. So if that total price is exists or that is correct, it just uh, pass the tests. Otherwise, it just uh, fail. Okay, total underscore price. So uh, you can understand uh, if you watch that video. Otherwise, uh, you may get uh, some confusions because I just continued from the previous uh, tutorials. All right, and I mean, and call that transform transformed data dot columns because uh, this total price should exist in the columns of that uh, ATL process module. And let's add uh, more, for example, self dot assert equal the transformed data uh, total price. I lock, I can use I lock function, how uh, we can uh, filter data based on the uh, indexes of the rows, okay? For example, 100.0, okay? If that is equal to the total price of that is equal to uh, 100.88, for example, you can sum up this uh, together. It, it may be uh, equal, otherwise it just throws an error. All right, let's go. Next, let's, uh, for example, assert self.assert true, and we can, add more test cases uh, to make sure that our uh, ATL uh, transformation uh, is very uh, clean and uh, it is uh, the functions are free from uh, any errors and it is correctly transformed, cleaned, and, and do any uh, tasks in the transformation of data. Okay, uh, API.types just uh, tests the types of dates, for example. Uh, in the transformation of the data, it, I just uh, converted 
uh, types of the date. So if that is correct, for example, date type n is this one, uh, and I just pass transformed data and order date. All right, these are some of the basic tests in the test transformation data. Uh, you can add more test cases, uh, actually, it is up to you. So this is uh, enough for uh, beginners. Now, uh, writing tests for data loading, uh, that is the final steps of testing our functions in the ATL process. So uh, finally, I will write tests for the data loading step, and I will create a test case to ensure that the data loading function correctly writes the transformed data to a CSV file. Let's add this test to the test uh, ATL file. So I just define another function. Uh, which is called test load data. So uh, it's going to test that the loading data into another CSV file is correctly uh, written and uh, successfully passes any testers uh, by applying this one. Okay, good. I just copy uh, this one to save our time or you can write from the scratch, uh, doesn't matter. Okay, now let's define a data frame, td dot data frame, and convert this data into data frame. All right, and let's define output path because the load data just uh, loads the transformed data into another file or into any database or any other uh, file formats uh, for later use. Okay, so uh, in my case, I just uh, create a new file. Uh, and transform it into uh, another CSV file. So output file pass test transformed sales data dot CSV. Right now uh, I call that load data and pass the data frame and output pass into this function. And I'm going to apply some uh, test cases in this. Uh, first of all, I just uh, test that the file exists or not, uh, I, I need to import uh, OS module that's uh, used to manipulate our operating system, uh, to manipulate directories, files, uh, and so on. So self.assert is true, that uh, if that file is, exists, uh, it just returns true, otherwise it false, and the test case is going to be failed exist the output file pass and let me add uh, more for example loaded uh, data frame is pd dot let's read that loaded data frame again read csv and uh, output pass first make sure that uh, the file exists or not otherwise uh, it just read to that file self assert let's uh, equal for example, the length of the file, length of the loaded data frame is equal to the length of, or the length of the data frame, the original data frame, which is uh, processed in the ATL process. Okay. And if that is, for example, let's remove that OS, OS remove, that's not necessary. All right. Clean up, which means cleaning up that test file. All right. I have just finished uh, defining all the test case functions. And the next step is just uh, running and reviewing the test uh, case results. Now I that I have written the tests, uh, let's run them to see if the ATL process is working correctly. I will use the unit test command to run the test ATL.py file and review the test results. So uh, outside of the uh, test case, the test ATL uh, class, I just uh, define the uh, function if name is main, then call that unit test dot main. All right, this is the final stage. And next, I'm going to run this. Now the, ATL, the test ATL file is running. And so as you can see, that runs three tests and failed uh, with two errors. One is order uh, and uh, hyphen date is not exist, that key. So there is 
errors uh, in this case. So I just make sure that here is not hyphen, it is underscore. All right, I have just corrected the errors occurred and uh, I'm going to run again and see the outputs of the test results. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the tests have run successfully. Each test cases verifies a specific parts of the ATL process, uh, extracting data, loading data, and transforming uh, data successfully. Uh, so uh, they are uh, working as expected. If any test fails, the error message will help you identify and fix the issue. And that's it for the ATL testing tutorial. I have covered how to write uh, run tests for each steps of the ATL process using Python's unit test framework. Testing is a crucial part of any data processing pipeline, ensuring that the data remains accurate and reliable. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. As next steps, you can explore more advanced testing techniques or integrate the tests into STI CD pipelines. Thanks for watching and happy learning.